Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the last skit, which was about money changes everything. Are y'all ready for this video? Because I ain't. Let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. <laughs> okay. So the reason why I was inspired by this video is because of the word of God. It says, hold up. For the love of money is the root of all evil. 1 Timothy 6.10 So, I feel like God placed this on my heart. So, I wanted to just talk about this and break it down to you guys. So, as you can see from the skit, if you did not see the skit, baby girl, baby boy, what are you doing? Go watch that skit, come back, and we're going to talk. But if you've seen that skit, alright, let's talk. So, I broke it down into three points. So the first one is the greedy cousin from Jamaica. The second one was the friend's dinner, just celebrating the, the new chapter in my life. And the third one is just kind of vented to my mom. As y'all know, I'm a daisy. This skit mainly focused on success and money, like what comes with it. When you're successful, you're gonna get money, you're gonna get like a new apartment, your lifestyle changes, your life in general changes, the people around you change. There's some things that you can't control. It's like your life is just gonna continue to change every single day. So in the first part of the skit, Shauna became like successful. She signed a record label. Homegirl cannot sing. I don't know how she got successful, but I'ma just. <laughs> So she got super successful and obviously it's like worldwide. So her cousin from Jamaica called her like, yo, let me get some money. Let me borrow a little, you know, a little money. So the reason why I showed that part is because when you become successful, you're gonna get people that you don't even have relationships with. People that are just because they're your family. They have this expectation that, oh, well, we family. Uh, Can you? So I, I don't know, like when it comes to money, it's always a tricky subject, but I just wanted to focus on this because I feel like we need to stop having the expectation like that people owe us and that people should do this and they should do that. Like just appreciate their success. Like be happy for them, be genuine, not like expecting just because your family or just because this is your friend. And I think like we gotta be healthier and we can't. You see how that person changed? You see it, look, just to kind of surround this topic around how it changes you now because shauna had money now you felt the cousin felt like oh well this is the time for me to build this relationship because this person has money and i think that's so it's so wrong and we should not live like that we shouldn't feel like now oh let me just just slide right in there you know let me just slide up in there and just be around her like i cared before and i'm all about forgiveness i'm all about giving trust me i give but you just have to be strong you have to understand that there's going to be people who are going to try to take advantage of you when you make more money or when you're more successful i'm just speaking about this just on a, a general standpoint i ain't making out money i'm just saying because i I'm, I love this topic, so that's the reason why I kind of like talked about it because it's also in the Bible. But yeah, it's just like being prepared for the people that are gonna kind of like, you know, let me, let me, let me, let me. So the second part of the skit, um, Shauna, her two friends, Rachel, Amy, they went out to drink, to get drinks, to celebrate the um, new chapter of Shauna's life. And you could tell Amy was a little like, jealous. Homegirl was jealous. She wasn't even happy, okay? Rachel, on the other hand, she was kind of like, yes, girl, tell us. Let me know about it. Let me, let me see what you got with her. So I was trying to telling her, you know, and she's just saying like, oh, I'm gonna get this apartment. I'm gonna get this condo. I'm gonna get this. She just, she's very humble. She's just saying what she want, like, cause she asks. You know, it's all humble. But then the reason why I showed this part of the skit of Amy being that jealous friend is because there's gonna be so many jealous people. 
especially when you are becoming successful, especially while you're successful. It be the closest people to you. And that's so dangerous. I believe it's so evil because you trust this person, you tell them everything, and then you expect them to like, you know, you, you just expect that they can hold everything you're telling them. But at the end of the day, all you can trust is God. Bars. All you can trust is God at the end of the day because people will change. You think these same people that you tell them, like it's so crazy because before you become successful, these people will treat you regular, you know, but then when you become successful, they will change. And it's so true. I know this because of what people say, like I read stuff about it. This is just something that happens. When you, when money is involved, when success is involved, people become envious, they become jealous. They want what you have. And I want people to understand that this is like when God gives you a gift, when God gives you a purpose, walk in it. And remember, as you walk in your purpose, you're gonna have a battle on the outside. You're gonna have people who don't want you to do good. You're gonna have people who are jealous of you doing good. They don't, they don't want you to grow. So you just have to be strong and understand that it comes with it. When you become successful, there's so many things that come with it. But you just gotta be strong. You gotta stand in prayer. You're gonna need God. You cannot do this on your own. So that's the reason why I show this friendship part is because the, sometimes the closest people to you are the ones that want you to fall. They want you to fail. I think fail sounded better. Yeah. <laughs> So for the last part of the skit, I showed Shauna venting to her mom because she was just kind of overwhelmed already. There's been a lot of exposure. Her life is changing. She's trying to figure out what to do next. But then when you don't have that support system, it kind of feels like you just feel like all over the place. But luckily, Shauna had that one person that she could have depended on other than God. I just wanted to show that, like just value and treat those people, you know, with respect and always know that certain people will be there for you. Keep your circles as small as possible. Point of this was to show that I want people to understand like, stop desiring worldly things. Yes, we need money. We gonna need some things. Like we on the earth, we gonna need some things. But don't let it change you. Don't allow money, the power of money to change you. To like, it, it's money has so much power and so much control over certain people. It doesn't have any control or power over me because I don't allow it to. You have control over that. It's all about your mind and how you think. Like, allow people to enjoy their success. Be happy for them. Be genuine. Be supportive. There's no need to want what they have when it's not meant for you. I encourage each and every one of you to walk in your destiny. Walk in your path. Like, ask God. Like, God show me the way how would you like me to be while i'm on this earth what is the purpose you have for me do not be jealous do not be envious your heart is it will not be good so that's just the whole point of this skit i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys loved it i see you guys on my next video <laughs> we gotta sing the outro three two one Hit it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that post notification. Bye. Yeah. 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 Peace. You know what's crazy? I feel like I should have sang like this in my video, but I didn't know how.